Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a five minute drill for you on both versions of RIP. Three questions you can see on the board right now. Two that you can't, but we'll have them all up there in just a moment. And we'll be using some live Cisco routers as well to verify the answers. I also have a link for you today to a free 23 minute video. And I mean free, free, not give us your credit card free and watch it later, etc. I mean you can watch it for free. And even if you never spend a dime on any of my materials, I want you to watch this video for your CCNA study. It's great stuff and very, very important. Let's jump right into today's questions. First off, does RIP use auto summarization by default? Second question for both versions one and two, what's the destination address for the routing updates? Question three, what's the frequency of the routing updates? I hear a little beeping here, thank you. Question four, do they use route poisoning and split horizon? And question five, in show IP protocols, what exactly is meant by default version control and what do we expect to see it set to? And we'll be using live equipment in just a moment to check that out. Let me show you this video really quick. Uh, I think all of you who are in the 2012 video boot camp right now, and to watch a free video, all you got to do is scroll down a little bit here. It is, uh, I don't see Burry, but it's a little further down the screen. And this is an NBMA lab. It's the trickiest config you're going to see on your CCNA exam, period. Because uh, you got hub and spoke, you got neighbor commands to concern yourself with some other stuff as well. If you just click that link right there, it's going to show you the video for free right then and there. Now, I will admit that when you were, if you're a paid student, the screen's a little bigger and you can download it, but you can watch it perfectly fine here as well. And again, it's 23 minutes, 26 seconds. It's the best 23, 26 you could possibly spend on your CCNA studies. If you do sign up, just remember to use that uh, coupon code BULLDOG60 and you get in for 44 bucks. Let's hit these questions and take a look at the routers as well. Uh, they do both use auto summarization by default. You got to watch this because, well, let's go ahead and just demo this quickly on the live equipment. I can do that under router rip right here. That no auto summary command is so common that when you look at a router config, say on an exam or a job interview, anything like that, if you actually see auto summary in the config, it's really easy to gloss over and say, oh, no auto summary. Just be careful about that. But remember, auto summarization is on by default. As far as the destination address of the routing updates, version two, excuse me, version one is a broadcast protocol. It's using broadcast for that. So we know the destination is 255, 255, 255, 255. Version 2 is a multicast protocol. It uses the destination address 224.009. Now, how often do those routing updates go out? This is one of the things we don't like about RIP is that, and you see here in the output of show IP protocols, it sends updates every 30 seconds. That's a lot of unnecessary overhead. That's a lot of unnecessary packing of routing updates. Then you got to send them out. You're taking up some uh, bandwidth that way. And then the receiving router has to unpack it, look at it and say, oh, I've already got this stuff. I don't need it. Uh, so there's a lot of unnecessary overhead with RELP. If your network is changing every 30, 30 seconds, you have a very dynamic network or you, need, you have one that needs some serious troubleshooting. So let's see, for route poisoning and split horizon, yes, they both use this because they're both distance vector protocols, and that is a distance vector protocol behavior, actually, both of those, route poisoning and split horizon. And let's hit this fifth question, because, man, this used to throw me when I started studying. Show IP protocols, default version control just simply means what the defaults are for sending and receiving updates as far as what versions they are when you enable RIP. Now this can be changed, but this is your default version control. And by default, RIP is going to send version one updates and accept versions one and two. It's a little odd, and you definitely want to be just very, very crystal clear on that for the exam, because I guarantee it's gonna come up one way or another. That concludes today's video practice exam. Thanks so much for watching and for making the Bryant Advantage part of your success story. We've got a new website and a new refreshed website coming up as well in January and February, and some additional free books for your Kindle, iPad, computer, laptop, smartphone, anything else you can think of. So thanks again for eight great years, and we're just getting started here at TBA. Thanks to you. See you on the next video.